You, you just reek scumbag to me. Is that the knife he has used to kill somebody? It could be. Is that a pimp cane? Do you have a pimp cane with a freaking white snake rolling up it? And your name's Stringer Brown, you got that gold tooth? I should send your ass- Look, I don't know if I'm gonna buy your murder weapon, my dude. Hey, welcome back to Dealer's Life. First video went up. I was quite surprised by the reception this got. You guys seem to really enjoy it, which I'm glad because I had fun playing it. We have moved to a different store, which I'll show off pretty soon. Why I did this because when you move to different stores, you get a chance to hire more dudes. So here, check this out. Remember how we had that level 1 restore? I went up to a level 2 guy this time. He basically does things a little bit faster, costs us more money to keep him hired, but he will restore items faster, which is always good. And I also picked up this guy over here with this amazing haircut. He kind of looks like a porn producer from the 80s. And what he does, he's an expert. He will give us estimates on items more properly and also recognize counterfeits and stuff like that. So what do you want, Rando? I want to inform you that my ex- I'm not even sure why he sounds that way, but apparently does. That my expert just discovered a fake item by carefully examining it. I bet you'd never be able to do the same. I actually have an expert. He's a pretty weird guy, buddy. I have one. You really want to lose, don't you? I wouldn't count it. So I guess he's basically challenging me to find a counterfeit, is what he's doing. My god, we got a lot of people here today. Alright, so, um, okay, okay, what do you- are you- are you- Yes, it's a rocket launcher, right? The second one! The second rocket launcher for us! Off camera, I actually got like some sort of like, you know, ray gun. It's... The thing is these people getting into my store is actually really impressive. Um, alright. So, let me ask the expert. You gotta ask the expert. I, I guess like the more stars he has, the more times you get to ask him for this. I'm gonna ask him to give me an estimate on this bad boy over here. The opinion says... It's... The value is 13200 I had no estimate, so... I have to go with what he's saying. He doesn't believe it to be a fake. I guess he's right. 13,000 though is a lot of cash though, let's be honest. I have 25,000, but I have bills to pay. Let's see about you. Hmm, I increased my competency a bit to get more stats from these people, but I guess we have to level up a bit more, because right now I'm not seeing much over here. The only thing we know is that she's not a, she's not a collector. Alrighty, so you want 12,000 for this grenade launcher, do ya? It's in very good condition, so we might be have to fix it up. We can just basically flip it over if we want to. The estimated value is 13,200. Um, how about, how about, how does 9,000 sound to you? You know, your boy's got to make a bit of a profit here. Listen, I think 11,600 would be a better one. Uh, maybe for you, but for me, not really. You know, how about 10,000? I could still get like around 3,000 profit. What if I say 11,400? If you say 11,400, I would tell you 10,500, and that's it. <laughs> you know, your boy's got to be scummy about stuff, but he needs to make a profit. All right, you're here to uh, you're here to sell too. I don't got any room. It's a legendary piece. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, I think it's a fake. It's a fake. I'll call the police. I'm gonna get plus plus rep for this. Maybe this will also complete um Randall's quest because the cops came by and asked me to find them a a, a fake piece. Congratulations! The police comes to your customer in custody, or takes your customer into custody for further investigation. Your reputation has just raised. Yeah. You got a giant freaking Majonia or something that like belongs to Thor? You're Catelyn Hamo. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, my boy. It's a rare piece. We definitely want that. I mean, we're going broke really fast here, but I kind of want that. Uh, I'm going to say if it's 8200, if I'm correct, I'll give you 5000 for it right now. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're robbing me. Do not offend me like this. I, get, I think 8000 could be a better one. I think you might be a collector, lady. You seem to be hassling me like you're a collector. Alright, look, 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 look. Here's what I'll do for you, just because you have a nice face. 6,000. Get out of here, you're robbing me. I'm okay, get out of here. You don't have a nice face, I take my compliment back. Hi, they call me Jeremy Copey and I love to sell you a unique piece. You're selling me a motorcycle. It's an epic motorcycle. Oh, my boy. My boy, what do you have about you? You're not competent. You're a little bit greedy. You're not impatient. I'm not sure if you're a collector, though. Oh! Oh, that's what you're looking for? 93,000? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no problem. What do you need your mind? I'll give you 10,000. He's gonna be so funny to leave, right? Alright, look, look, dude, get out of here. We can't make this deal, obviously. You're asking for 90,000. I mean, get out of here. What's wrong with you? This guy. Oh, it's 90,000. Expert Giuseppe has just finished his job with the jeweled earring. It's authentic. It's now at. Oh, Giuseppe, you dropped the value? Yeah, ding dong! He dropped the overall value. Just Seffy, come on, you're supposed to check up the prices, man. We don't run an honest establishment here. 
Let's open up for business here. You know what? I'm happy with my place. We got curtains at least now. You know, we didn't have curtains before. Anybody could peek in. I we could shut them off. Nice gold teed, man. You, you just reek scumbag to me. Is that the knife he has used to kill somebody? It could be. Stringer Brown. Yeah, you're Stringer, all right. Is that a pimp cane? Do you have a pimp cane with a freaking white snake rolling up it? And your name's Stringer Brown, you got that gold toot? I should send your ass. Look, I don't know if I'm gonna buy your murder weapon, my dude. 57 estimated value. I'll give you $30. We're too distant to buy? Oh, too distant? 57 to 30 is too distant. Okay, whatever you say. You're here to buy something good. I need to get rid of some stock here. Um, this is as good as it's gonna get at this point because we estimated it, we fixed it up. So, you are looking for these earrings, right? Nice bow tie, by the way. Really awesome. Alright, let's deal. You are not competent. It's like if you sell like, your fake item, you wouldn't even know. So, let's see. 720, huh? Mmm. That's the estimated value. I think we could probably go up to 12. Don't you run off! 820. I know I was kind of ripping you off a little bit. Let's say 900. That's what's up, my boy. It's a 509, you know, flip. That's fine. We'll, we'll take it. It's one of those cheaper items. You know, I gotta sell some cheap items, too. Alright, let's come in the over here. How many days? Two and three. Okay. Let's see here. Forger for hire and a shop for rent. 30,000. This is not really too far off. This is somewhere we might move into next. It'll give us a couple of extra fame points, more inventory. And I think this means working locations for some reason. Um, that's the amount of workers you could actually get. For some reason it says working location, it confused me first, but I think that's workers. So this will give us one extra worker, which would be nice. Now you're here to sell me apparently a wine collection of some kind, bourbon Tyrell. Uh, you're not greedy. You're very competent though, and you're also a collector, so you might want to jack up the price on this. It's a rare piece though. There is that. Let's ask the expert about this. So my expert's saying it costs a little bit more, and he doesn't believe it to be a fake. I think he's right, sure, maybe. I don't know. I don't know about that guy just yet, you know, he lowballed my own items, so it's hard to say. Alright, my friend, how about, how about we do this? How about I give you 3,000? Get out of here. Get out of here. Just, just, just turn around, turn around and go. Good, good, yeah, we got that one, alright. Hi, I'm Skylar Fry, and I've got a unique piece. You're here to sell, too. Do I have room for this, my dude? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, what are you selling? Is that a picture of, um, my boy Gerald from The Witcher? The Monster Fighter poster producing 20, uh, that's The Witcher. Um, wow, wow, 11,000, huh? Epic piece, good condition. I can't even tell if it's a fake, though, myself. And I already asked the experts, so, hmm. What do I have about you? You're a collector, you're not too greedy. You're asking for more of the estimated value, huh? Eh, look, I'll be honest with you, dude. I would buy this to try to buy it, but it means just about all my money. I got bills to pay. You have to turn around. You see that? We had to pay 3000 and something in terms of, like, you know, my shop costs and my employees, so it's probably a good thing we did not do that, because otherwise, we might have just gone bankrupt. Coffee after coffee. It seems that offering coffee every morning to the local policeman is bearing fruit. Your reputation value is increased. Yeah, we're greasing the cops by giving them a little bit of the old coffee. Maybe even slip them a donut. You don't know. Oh, here's the auction thing I'm going to show you guys. Perfect. So, we can now sell one of our items randomly in auction. Honestly, I got nothing right now like it's in very good condition. But just for the premise of showing it off, let's go and put this up for sale. Maybe, maybe it does well for us. Maybe it does not. We'll see. Everything else, though, we can't really do much at the moment. Um, 30000 is where I want to move into next. Somebody needs to buy that rocket launcher to help me out. Dude, you got that burger in your hand. It's greasy and... You're here to sell the freaking knife again, aren't you? Are you the guy from before? No. It's a rare piece, oddly enough. Allegedly. Dude, if that's a rare piece and it's a terrible condition, we could fix it up. Did you go and get another knife? Are you the guy from before? What are you, like, just a knife expert now or what? I kill people with these knives. I'm gonna sell them off as soon as possible. Get rid of the evidence. Alrighty. Look. Don't run off, okay? I'm gonna give you 150. Don't you dare run off right now. Just say yes. Alright, you know what? I'll, I'll say yes because it's a rare condition and we could definitely fix this up. Alright, there you go. You got it. I won't, I won't hassle with this guy too much. What are you here to buy? The bed? Oh, the bed doesn't really give me too much money. I haven't even fixed it up. It's a common piece. Alright, lady. By the way, you got that face tattoo thing going on, huh? That's a bit crazy nowadays. Uh, 310. Uh, I paid 250 for it. Let, let's see if I can double my value on it. Fine, go ahead. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised you're even buying that bed for that much money. I'm pretty sure you could buy a, a newer bed for just about the same amount. But um, you want to buy that raggedy bed, it's on you. 
expert Giuseppe has just finished his job with his rocket launcher. Giuseppe, you dropped the price on the rocket launcher, you ding dong. Look, I'll, I'll give you 1200 and we call it a day. No, I don't like that deal whatsoever. I'll give you 1300 Get out of here. Get out of my store. Walk away from me. Don't ever talk to me again. Or my children ever again. If I had children. Oh, you're you you're the guy with the I remember you with the with the gold ring or the gold ring, the gold suit. You're the guy who I call the creeper. Okay, you're not a collector. I don't know anything else about you though. What are you trying to sell me? The golden statuette. Ooh. Okay, good condition, uncommon piece. Oh, really? Is that how much money you want? Uh huh. Way well over the estimated value. We'll try two thousand. Nah. You're asking for way more than the estimated value. Get out of here. You're here to buy. Okay, but you're here to buy, uh, you know, I was hoping that rocket launcher would show up. Rare piece, terrible condition, uh, I paid 810. You are very greedy, you're a collector. How much do you want to give me for this? A thousand! You soon give me even less than the estimated value, huh? Look, I'll, I'll give me, give me 1100 and it's yours. Just get out of here, I don't want to make the extra room, get a better item in here. Alrighty. Yo, we gotta restore... Trip has just finished his job with the old book. It's the estimated price is unknown. Ah oh, man, I was hoping we get the value off of it too. Well, he's in good condition now. So stop this task. And find out about the old book. And please, whatever you do, do not make the estimate less than what I paid for it, right? You ding dong. But considering the price in this bad way over here, let's go ahead and five days, 1296 to get it done. Something tells me this right here could possibly go up a lot in price once it's fixed. I mean, it's costing me more to fix it up than I paid for it initially. This is the overall amount of money I spent on this item, so hopefully the estimated price goes above 25. Otherwise, we have been swindled quite a bit. I mean, does, no, does nobody realize what a good rocket launcher is these days? He doesn't want to buy this or what? David Goodman, I'm thinking about buying that piece over there. I got big cash for you. Okay. Look, I, I need to get this out of my hand and try to at least salvage some money off of it. So, my dude, can you like, just just let me break even at least. Or a little bit above even. How about 1800 Thank you. All right. I made a $15 profit off of that Dungeons and Dragons book. Oh, uh, you got a weird statue here. Usain Roland. Epic piece. Ooh. Ooh, my boy. My boy. Okay. I'm willing to talk to you. Sure, epic piece. I'm fine. I mean, we could probably flip this pretty good once we fix it up and everything. 210 is what you're looking for, huh? I like how I have an, ep I have an epic piece and I'm still trying to swindle this guy. I'll give you 180. 205? Hey, you know what? Fine. 205. You, you got it. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> what are you here? Oh, thank you so much! Thank you so much! All right. All righty. Are you interested? Absolutely, I'm interested in selling this thing off. I need money. I want to move to a different store. Who are you? You're not a collector, thankfully, but I don't know if you're greedy, I'm not sure if you're impatient. So, let's deal. You want me to give you a price? Alright. Well, check it out, lady. This is an epic piece right now, okay? This is like state-of-the-art rocket launcher stuff, like, you know, freaking... It has not even in the market yet. We haven't killed people with it just yet. But we're looking to do kill some people with it soon. Because it's like, you know, state-of-the-art stuff. Uh, look, I, I would be fine with you... Just take it out of my hand for 30000 That's yours. God's side, kill people, it's fine. I mean, listen, lady. Listen, I paid ten thousand for this item, okay? I need to make some money. All right, twenty thousand. It's no, not two thousand. Twenty thousand. It's yours. No, no, come back over here. You can't just walk away from the bartering system. No, not after two tries. Will Smith. Oh, I don't have Will Smith hired. I could have done the little flashy thing on his head. Ah, oh, what the money? That's fine. You know what? I don't want to think it's 3,000 investment on that. Giuseppe! I blame Giuseppe lowering the value of that item. Planet 9 discovered. Good. Free burp. Buy on auction. Alright, let's buy some items over here. Hopefully we could buy stuff. We're a little bit on the broker's side. We got rent coming up pretty soon and bills to pay. Okay. This is where we could actually sell stuff ourselves, or buy stuff ourselves. By the way, we haven't gotten money for the item that I put up for auction, have we? Hopefully it comes up pretty soon. Is that the Death Star? Stellar Brawl's huge planet destroyer. Yep, that's the Death Star, right? Um, let's see. Well, the estimated value of this old chest is 55. 
No estimated value on that decorated gun and 3600 on this rifle. Let's come into the Death Star here. And let's see if we could probably put in some money, maybe not too much. I'll do 1460. The problem is we don't know the estimated value. Well, I bought it for 1460. So hopefully, you know, once we estimate it, it goes for higher. I'm surprised nobody else bid on it. Usually there's a really big bidding wars here. Um, this is too rich for my blood, I would say. Let's go and try to go for this um, old decorated gun. Maybe, just maybe. 2000. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. You know, without knowing the estimated value, I'm not sure if I want to make this bet. No. No, no, I'm out of here. 1240? Nobody? Nobody? Oh, you ding dong! We almost had it! Who was that? Eric something? Eric, stop. Dol Dolphinia Mulgrel? Look, I'll go up to 2000. That's my cap. Oh. Oh! Dolphinia, get out of here! Go back to the ocean. Leave it alone. Dolphinia, I am gonna turn your ass into tuna. Yeah! I mean, we, we bought it for under the estimated value. It's in bad condition, so we can still probably fix it up and make some good money off of that. Um, that old chest, no, no, I need to keep some money for bills in case we don't do anything right now. Uh, all right, my boys, you got some news for me coming up? You still got four days in this item? Uh, you got two days on that restoration, okay. All right, we have one room on shelves for items. We're almost out of time too, so this might be my last day for now. What are you looking to buy or sell? Or you're looking to buy the Death Star. Man, it's a rare piece and I haven't fixed it up just yet. Well, I paid $14.60 for it. Let me see about you. Are your eyes even open, lady? I can't even tell. Um, I think they're actually. She's a... That needs her eyes over here. That's... You, you both of you guys have the same eyes. It's kind of scary. Oh, baby. You want to give me $4,500 for... I, could, I think we could probably fix this up for some good money. But you know what? I'm, when you do, I really want to move to another store. I should probably just take this right now. I'm hoping that my hubris doesn't screw me over. How about $5,000? I have a feeling we could probably even ask for more, but I didn't want to risk her turning around and just leaving. Sometimes I don't want to barter, you know, what can I say? You're here for the statuette. I really want to fix this up. Something tells me because it's epic, I could probably jack up the price. So unless, um, unless you are asking, giving me a lot, I'm going to say, yeah, no. Mm -mm. No, no. I I'll take my chances fixing it up and seeing what happens here. At least we got one good item off of our shelves, just good. 10,000. We're looking for 30,000 to move to a different store, though, so we still need a lot of big items, and I still haven't sold my item in auction. Alrighty, well, we're gonna wrap it up here for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is surprisingly really fun for me to play, so if you guys want to see some more, let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a thumbs up, and we'll definitely do some more. Otherwise, all the information for the game will be down below. I will catch you next time, and by all means, scroll by the Falcon Pawn Shop. You'll always get a good deal.